So lemma five point four one is that uh, if you have all is a uh, strongly tamed properly convex so if for uh so given any n neighborhood uh, which is a concave n neighborhood then the so the d diameter of the boundary of concave neighborhood is bounded by the uh, Hilbert distance uh, diameter of end of e fold of the uh, 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 sigma e of e. Okay, so uh, concave neighborhood again was obtained by uh, removing uh, lens from the con uh, lens cone here. So um, so you look at this uh, lens cone and then you remove this uh, uh, lens uh, from it. And uh, uh, so if you look at this uh, boundary of this concave neighborhood, uh, then um, then this. Uh, uh, and these are both compact, uh, and the, this is uh, strictly com uh, convex in the low, lower part. Okay, and then um, uh, so uh, so we can actually find this uh, sort of a neighborhood of this L uh, inside the, uh, this U by uh, this uh, this generalized uh, lens cone. Uh, <clears throat> And the, um, so this is again strictly convex, and uh, so we can uh, form these type of concave neighborhood like this. And um, basically, you project to the uh, uh, from from the boundary of uh, U to uh, to the uh, this, uh, this the, so the space of directions. And uh, uh, this uh, projection is a diffeomorphism, and of course the uh, so if you look at the Hilbert uh, metric uh, on the uh, concave uh, on O or O bar, so we using the metric on O bar, then the, this uh, will uh, this maximal seg this maximal segment will send to the maximal segment if you are um, uh, inside the. Uh, um, Inside this uh, concave neighborhood, so which end uh, if it ends in both of the uh, these uh, in inside the cone, then it will uh, send to the maximal segment. So the Hilbert metric is isometry here. So the uh, so since uh, this uh, the true distance will be smaller, only smaller than what you have here from the maximal segment. You see that this uh, is up, uh, bounded above by these. Uh, Diameter of the Hilbert uh, under the Hilbert metric of this. Okay, so that's the basic idea. So, uh, so diameter doesn't increase or decrease when you change this uh, concave neighborhood. So, I mean, doesn't increase. Sorry. sorry. So five point four point one is that. Uh, so if you have a, a lens cone in the virtually non-factorizable case. Um, uh, then the uh, uh, then sigma e satisfy the uh, so if you have a lens neighborhood then it satisfies the uniform middle eigenvalue condition and there is a general uh, ca cone destroying from e with the following properties okay uh, so uh, so where these uh, d boundary d minus the true uh, manifold boundary uh, I mean the overfold boundary is independent of choice of D and uh, this lambda E is from the this uh, previous proposition uh, using the tube. And D is a uh, strictly generalized lens shaped. And uh, um, so any non torsion non identity element has a attracting fixed set uh, in in the intersects with the uh, union of gray segment in the direction of uh, boundary of this uh, sigma tilde e. So, so it is in some sort of this cone will have be in some uh, boundary direction, and the uh, uh, the closure of attracting fixed set is a subset of this uh, B D D minus A B for the top and the lower half space. And it's actually the closure is actually this if gamma T is hyperbolic. Uh, and the and so, and, and if you have any segment in, in the boundary L with the 
This L0 intersecting this concave neighborhood in the uh, LPE. Uh, then uh, actually it has to be in the in this union of um, uh, SVE. Uh, so the so the union of gray segments uh, in the direction of uh, this BD sigma E is is denoted by this. Okay. So SVE means uh, the set of all these gray uh, segments. Okay. Um, intersected with uh, this uh, segment segment inside the. Uh, 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 inside, inside, um, inside O bar. Okay, uh, I mean the the closure of all. Uh, I mean the closure of tilde O, and uh, so uh, so this this should be in in any concave neighborhood also. So th these are well defined sets. So the the set of uh, S B or maximum sigma from B E in C L B is independent of choice of concave neighborhood B. So it is actually the maximal segment ending at BDE minus AB. Okay. So uh, well, uh, okay. So uh, so I, I guess this is the definition of that set, and uh, maybe I should define it earlier. But uh, right, okay. And so this is uh, going to be this. So this concave neighborhood with the boundary, and then the, for any tax transformation, it's. Uh, uh, GBE goes to GSBE, uh, so these are invariant, and then of course uh, it's this interior and the, any other is empty or it is the same for any Dex transformation. And the uh, concave uh, PN label is a proper PN label, which means that it uh, covers uh, uh, some uh, uh, some product neighborhood, right? And then the, if uh, PN vertex of uh, another vertex uh, N, and then the, so we can uh, choose a mutually destroying concave PN neighborhood for every RPN and there, um, and also, so then these are also empty. They, if their vertices are different, they are empty or they have to be the same with us uh, being the same vertices. So those are some uh, invariant properties. Um, so uh, the so the uniform middle eigenvalue condition follows from this uh, theorem here uh, that we proved last time. And then, so if you have a con uh, concave neighborhood, then the, it's a component component of the lens in this concave cone. And uh, so. Uh, so we, we discuss about the tubes and uh, any uh, segment uh, be from uh, any point must be in the boundary of uh, 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 right. So this this proves uh, this uh, number two uh, that uh, so if you have any uh, intersection uh, in the boundary uh, segment in the boundary and it's intersect with this uh, closure then. Uh, they will have to be uh, so in the union of the segments from BE, and uh, so that's uh, this is because they they have to be in this tube, and then you have to uh, consider all the segments from BE in the boundary of the the T direction, and so um, so using convexity, I will be able to prove that. Okay, so that's right it. And uh, and then I, I go to show that the independence uh, and then invariance here. So these are just the uh, routine argument and, and so on. Okay, so B and so on. Okay. So next I uh, want to do the, in the factorizable case, uh, then the things get simpler that the, uh, so uh, if you assume that this closure is not just some join of BE with uh, some properly convex domain of uh, one dimension lower, uh, or um, the group is strongly irreducible. So, uh, so in this case, it's of course not irreducible. So, so you, you uh, not strongly irreducible. Okay. So if you assume this, then the, um, uh, then uh, if you have this uh, case, uh, then this actually RPN is totally geodesic. 
so there are some uh, uh, flat uh, you can uh, find this di uh, in the direction projective uh, retipiomorphic projection of convex domain in sn which is actually disjoint from b okay so you can find that and then so this d prime e lies in this t okay and then the so this as uh, lambda gamma e is virtually some uh, co-compact uh, subgroup of this where this is uh, gamma i is a restriction of this gamma to the i prime and x uh, trivially for uh, so so you restrict the action to here and then you extend by trivial action in the other uh, groups um and so on okay um right so then it is uh, actually uh, a co-complex subgroup of this and then the um uh, and then these d are uh, going to be always strictly land shaped and this uh, each ci will correspond to this uh, partial uh, joint and uh, uh, and then d is just the joint of these uh, uh, these uh, individual open sets uh, in in this domain um and uh, so these are just uh, using the Benoit theorem and then the, for the reducible case, I mean, the virtually reducible case. And then these uh, union, this SP again will be uh, obtained by uh, this process. So instead of, you, so you need the boundary of this set uh, and then the join with BE to get this and then the, so then uh, the, these things will uh, turn out to be this. So one of them has to be the boundary and then this has to uh, change as we go, okay. Uh, so the basically that the, it satisfied the uniform with eigenvalue condition, uh, if you have a lens, uh, that's uh, what we had. And uh, so, uh, so if you have a, so if gamma a tilde is virtually a group, uh, subgroup of this acting like this in Sn minus one BE. So you, you, you have to think of this uh, in the set of directions, uh, but the, uh, uh, so maybe font is wrong here. Uh, I don't know, uh, right, right. Uh, and then the point is that the, um, so in the set of directions, you can do it, but if you look at this uh, virtual center is actually some uh, lattice inside this group. And uh, and this uh, will act uh, with the uniform middle eigenvalue condition. So, uh, so you can, uh, so basically uh, in, in this sort of theorem, we, we show that we find some uh, element in the center which strongest eigenvalue here, which converges to identity in this, uh, some some di direction. And then the uh, other uh, direction, so so you will uh, have uh, some uh, limit of under the sequence, uh, some di prime. Okay, so the closure of di prime will be obtained by, uh, because it satisfied the uniform eigenvalue condition, so, uh, so it has attracting fixed point in di prime. So then, uh, so then you see that this does exist in O, o prime, o, I mean tilde O, I mean the boundary of tilde O. Okay, uh, and then the uh, so so you see that the these thing really exists, and then D can be obtained. So finally, we need to show that D zero is actually in the universal cover. Uh, I mean O, o tilde, uh, but uh, there are only two cases because this is a convex domain and the o, o tilde is convex. So this case is okay, but in this case, you just have this joint case and this contradicts the prime premise. Okay, so that's the idea. And the uh, uh, final part is that the, uh, these uh, will, so if you have some holonomy n group with the L x on the generation s cone with vertex b, <laughs> then the following hole, so the vertex of the lens cone is uh, determined up to antipodal map and uh, and this 
and the lens cone is outward direction and vertex will be uniquely determined and the vertex of the horospherical end is of course uniquely determined. And the, uh, the way to prove that is the horospherical case is because it's uh, very uh, simple because it has only <laughs> one fixed point, <laughs> which is uh, antipodal to each other. <laughs> and uh, so since we have a manifold, uh, we, we know which direction it it found some convex neighbor, so so we know that. And then the, for the lens case, if it's not uh, reducible, uh, if there is a, another vertex W, then uh, then you see that this uh, action pi one of e acts virtually reducibly, so it's a reducible uh, case, and so. So it's actually virtually factorizable case. Uh, and then you can obtain these uh, properly convex domain, totally geodesic plane like this. And um, uh, right. Uh, and then uh, because of those uh, things, uh, it actually is going to be lens. And uh, um, so if you have a different, uh, and structure then the uh, so the basically that the, this will not satisfy the uniform middle eigenvalue condition because um, so the uh, largest norm will have to be in this k but this is in the middle so um, uh, so then we we show that proper convexity will not be true here so that uh, using these kind of ideas. So that's the proof. And uh, so the final uh, proposition 5.4.5 is that the, uh, so this is also true for TN. So you have some lens neighbors uh, acting on the total geodesic minus on OV4 with a, which is compact OV4 or horse spear as a co compact cost group. Then uh, this will define the hyperplane uniquely uh, because uh, um, this is a compact OV4. Uh, uh, so that this is compact OV4 and this is a, or, or is in the horospherical case, it'll be the cusp point. So uh, to prove that you dualize uh, the whole thing and then uh, you, you have to find this. Uh, and then you use the uniqueness in the previous uh, result here. Okay, uh, so that's the first part of this uh, today. And then I continue uh, five minutes later. Okay.